This is pharmacy. Meet Anna Sachs, better known as the trash walker. She spends most nights sifting through curbside garbage, saving stuff destined for life in a landfill. I have a pretty good sense of of what th certain things feel like. I'm using a puncture proof glove to do that. Her trash hauls have amassed millions of social media views, uncovering everything from vintage designer ties in residential waste to graphing calculators tossed by New York City public schools and bags upon bags of drugstore staples. That's very typical of CVS and Walgreens. If an item is approaching the best by date, if an item is no longer in season, so it's related to past holidays, they toss it. We went on a trash walk with Anna to watch her work. At first, we didn't have much luck. It looks like real trash. Yeah, real trash. Yeah, I think it's all trash. Real trash, okay. But then, something salvageable outside of CVS. Okay, tampons, band-aids. They're also sealed. Since the packaging is like this, it was tossed. But each one of those pills is also sealed. And there was more at Walgreens. Some beer. 2023. Rolo. More hair clips. Plus socks, scotch tape, eyeliner, chips, and soda, all sealed and unexpired. So why would a store toss all this? Retailers arbitrarily get to decide, oh, this thing is no longer seasonal. It's no longer in style. Let me destroy it and then count it as a loss and lower my taxable income. It's extremely common. This is the way of doing business. Anna says destroying product is common practice for drugstores and high-end designers alike. Her viral TikTok video showing deliberately damaged coach bags even forced the company to change policy. This is what they do with unwanted merchandise. They order an employee to deliberately slash it so no one can use it. The root of the problem, she believes, is simple too much stuff. We currently are using two and a half times what the earth can regenerate in one year. So we are in debt, a deep debt to the earth. And we know scientifically that we can't continue consuming and overproducing in this way. Um, it's a physical impo impossibility. In a statement to Pix11 News, CBS says 50% of its waste from 2021 was diverted to recycling or reuse and about $140 million worth of product donated to charity. Quote, our approach optimizes the liquidization, donation, and recycling of unsaleable products and works to reduce the number of these products that come into our stores. And Walgreens tells Pix11 it works diligently to divert from landfill unsold or discontinued products, such as food, toiletries, and household items. Quote, we work with numerous partners to donate and liquidate a wide variety of products. In fiscal 2021, Walgreens donated 10 million pounds of product and liquidated 7.7 .7 million pounds. When we asked both companies about the specific items Anna recovered, we did not hear back. What I experience is a lot of times an initial willingness to like entertain a conversation, but then no real change. So for now, Anna's trash walks will continue, and she finds a home for everything she finds on the street, whether that's with herself, a friend, or a neighbor in need. If it's usable, it should continue to be used. Anna's also pushing for New York City to enact donate, don't dump legislation, which would require businesses to donate their unsold hygiene products to charity.